This is how we dismantle the center section of the organ. Um, it's relatively straightforward. I think there's only one particular point that needs to be taken care of. Um, it needs to be known about. It's not obvious. First of all, of course, we can remove the all the center sections all just to unscrew. The first gear is um, a light press fit. Then the mercury arm unscrews. The Venus also unscrews. Earth, same. Yeah, sorry. There's a small gear that drives the Earth's rotation. Um, that unscrews. And then the Earth unscrews. And then finally the last arm unscrews. That gives us the... Um, so we have two, three, four, five, six, seven concentric um, levers. And then we have the center section. Now, the center section is... The next stage is to remove the upper frame. Um, which is four screws and the upper frame is moved and with it comes the um, uppermost wheel and then we can remove various or I should say the two side um, just two auxiliary arbors the Jupiter drive is a friction fit the pin um, so that is removed like that And then we can remove this section. The next thing preventing us from removing more wheels is the is that wheel, and that is a um, held on by a clamp screw. Then we have another section to remove. Then this unit here, the next center of it can't be removed because it has a lower wheel that is larger in diameter than this wheel. So we have to loosen this clamp screw. It's good to take note of the order when they have stacked items. So we have a screw, a washer, a spacer and a wheel. And then another section can be removed. Um, next unit to take off is the sun support arbor. And then we could remove the main 
input drive um, which has to be removed to remove the lower plate but before we can do that it's captive by um, this wheel so that comes off again the sequence is best noted and for that wheel to be removed this wheel has to be removed um, as we've said in other dismantling videos um, if you get to dead end just keep, re keep removing uh, keep removing other parts until um, there's nothing more to remove. At that stage, it should be obvious what needs to come next. That's the lower wheel on that of it. And that is a skew headed arbor. So once you be able to grab that and or that's not doing what we're wanting um, encourage it from below that's right pardon the arm You can see we have the the um, header screw starting to come away, and that is that wheel removed, which means we can take off that wheel, which means that. Um, Again, it's a case of there's a captive screw or a screw head there. We might need to just hold it with a um, pair of pliers. Oh. Sorry, this. Then we should be able to lift the bulb out of its bearings. It comes out of the plates. We can lift out the um, centre wheel. So that's has to be that has to be assembled simultaneously. We have the main centre wheel, which then exposes um, four screws. But it's also important to note there are two inner screws. Now these inner screws must also be removed before the outer screws um, all at the same time as them. So there we have the outer screws removed. And the two inner screws um, prevent the or retain the collet
disconnect enables us to remove the lower frame. So you have to take the four center screws and the two um, side screws out and that allows the collet to be removed which then allows oh, I mean we have the lower wheel has a taper pin and it comes off and then we have the main arbor comes out that wheel is permanently fixed to the center arbor and then we have the Jupiter arm which is a unit in its own right. Um, so there we have the complete center section of